Good morning, it's Thursday 12th September 2024 and I'm cracking on with some things I need to do to the bike. One of the things is I'm going to be attempting to rubberize, for want of a better word, of this. And that's for two reasons, A, so it doesn't slip and B, hopefully reduce some of the vibration. I've got two old mountain bike wheels here with different kinds of tread. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with this one, which is a more road type tread and this inner tube this wheel, uh, tire is 20 years old because it's an original tire off a old Marin bike. So yeah, I'm going to try using this one. A couple of other things I need to do. This is going to stay, but it needs to be uh, hit with a grinder to get rid of the excess bit. Also, this bit here needs cutting out. So it'll be cut off there and we'll get rid of that bit and then we'll cut this bit out as well so we can get more access to the nut. Uh, we can get away without cutting off this one. That's a better angle. So we're going to cut this off here and get rid of that because we don't need it. Then we're going to cut away all this bit so we've got better access to the bolt. And that way we've still got the strength of this bit. That's the plan anyway. The same down here. Get rid of this bit. And the same on the other side. So get rid of that on this side so we've got some still haven't found the bolts yet but they are somewhere so yeah get rid of that then we want to do the same up here try and make sure we get the similar amount gotten rid of and yeah so let's get the motor out first i've just put a cushion on the floor in case the motor drops out no dramas there Leave that to drive 10 minutes while we cut the inner tube up. Not sure if these are going to cut through the metal bit on the inside of the rim or not. We'll soon find out. No, right. Grinder it is. Safety first, my friends. These are well nice from Tool Station for a fiver. Lovely. Sweet. What I'm actually going to do is just cut out the rubber that we need and then I can mess around with it later. That's going to make it a bit more tricky to match it up perfectly because what I was hoping to do was just use a Stanley knife, match them up like that so it fits over. Stanley knife there and you get a perfect two bits. The main thing is that we've now got a bit long enough. Was not expecting to see the wind turbine moving today. Obviously it's not making anything going that slowly. You can watch this beauty while I finish bodging this up. Strange because yesterday it was windier but the wind was from all over the place rather than one particular direction. Uh, when the turbine is facing this way, that means the wind is mostly northerly and there's a lot more oomph in it. So if the BBC says it's 9 miles an hour from the north, it's practically the equivalent of 15 miles an hour from the south. Right, I think we're on to a winner with that. Now what I wanted to do, I wasn't expecting there to be metal inside the inner tube, which is probably my naivety. What I was hoping to do is just use a knife, cut across through both, but can't really do that. So we're just going to have to try and match it up as well as we can. Possibly air on the side of caution, perhaps. Just going to snip. I'm just going to snip it off there, and we'll see what we're doing. Right, I've got it cut, and I've got this kind of not a ratchet strap, but a similar sort of thing. And what I want to do first is I'm just going to put this on and then tighten this up and see if it fits properly. Because we don't want it uh, ruffling itself up when we come to this stage. And we've got super glue all over the place. We need to see if it fits in tight. You can see the tiny little gap there. Right, I've got a massive tub of super glue. First, you want to check it's in line. And I'm actually going to try sticking 
the first bit to here and see if we can get that to stick on and then we can re reverse glue everything. I did think about using uh, powerful magnets but the magnets of the rotor are right here you know on the outside and the coils are on the inside so I did think that might be a bridge too far you know and I'd be annoyed at myself if anything happened I'm not saying it would but somebody did mention there have been quite a few ideas somebody did mention large rubber bands which I thought was good other people mentioned spray uh, rubber whatever that is so thank you for anyone who who did suggest stuff right I don't think that's going to come off there oh no it's too long that is mega annoying let's see if we can get that to stick let's see if we can get that to stick and then we can trim that up all right that's not stuck I'm just going to trim a little bit off and then we'll, we'll try sticking it up here Annoyingly, we've got a little bit left there, but I, I don't think it's going to be a problem. I'm going to soak some super glue down the sides. Hopefully, not super glue the strap. Right, I'm going to leave it out, leave it in the sun for a few hours, and hope for the best on that score. So we've got most of the cuts that we need on there and the wheels hanging up mm. doesn't look great but I'm going to leave that to dry properly and then we'll refit that and then we shall hope for the best so I'll see you in the next video very soon cheers <laughs>